In this video, I'm going to show you something called inverse kinematics, uh, just a beginner version of it. Uh, normally, when you have your model made, and you'll see my box man here, I've added a hand. Okay, not the best looking, but it's there. Normally, what happens is called forward kinematics. So if I take this bone and I rotate Z, you'll see all the bones down the line in a forward direction, right? Going all the way towards the arm and the hand. These ones end up moving. If I move this one, all the ones down the line move. If I move that one, rotate, there's nothing down the line. Now let me just reset this, clear all. What we're going to do is something called inverse kinematics. Inverse kinematics makes it a bit easier to pose your character in certain situations. Inverse kinematics is I basically tell this bone right here at the end to control the motion of this bone and this bone. So wherever I move this bone, it goes backwards. That's the inverse kinematics. It goes up the chain and will automatically move this bone and this bone to make it work. Now, it doesn't always work perfect, but let's give it a go here. So what I do is I'm in pose mode. I select that last bone, which I was supposed to call hand right. So let's call it, that's the hand right bone. There we go. And I'm going to go to bone constraints, and I'm going to add a constraint. And the constraint I'm going to add is tracking inverse kinematics. Now, if it messes up your model at this point, don't worry about it. We have a setting or two to do. So here's the inverse kinematic settings. It has target, and basically the target, I want it to be the armature. That's our only armature right now that it's part of, so armature. And the bone that it should target should be, actually, just leave it blank right now. The target bone, if you want to put it in there. Actually, I'm just going to leave that out. You can put a target that this bone is supposed to follow. I'm actually going to leave that out for now. I'm just going to let the bone itself guide the rest of the arm. Now, you're going to see this orange line here. This orange line is telling you how far back down the chain that it should try to calculate positions for bones. So watch this. If I say G to grab, and I pull that bone, it's working itself all the way up the arm lower, arm upper, the collar bone, the body bone, and doing what it has to to make it move there. Now, while pretty cool, really I just want the hand to move the arm bones, okay? Not the whole thing. So let me select all, pose, clear all. Let's change that. That's called the chain length. When you put zero, it just means go all the way back up the chain to the starting point. I'm going to go chain length one, would just mean itself. That's sort of useless, I think, unless I'm missing something. Two, now the dotted line is going up to the second bone, so it'll control two. And if I go three, now it goes one, two, three. So it'll control up to this bone. Let's give it a go. If I go to a top view and I select that bone and hit G to grab it, you can see it just moves those other bones. Now, it does do some weird stuff if you don't have limiting angles or uh, this other thing here called a pull target, which is a little tricky. I'm not going to do it in this video. But you'll see the basic idea. Not too bad, right? So it moves the bones for you. This is nice, and it keeps things uh, pretty good. Let's say you had a cup of coffee that you were trying to move around. You could actually make the target the coffee object. And as you move the coffee cup, this arm is just going to follow it. You can see if I go to the top down view, I can also grab the arm. And since the shoulder is allowed to move, the shoulder moves at whatever angle it has to to make this happen. So this isn't a bad way to do your thing. And it's very simple to set up, right? All I did there, I'll just go back, was I just took the last bone, added a bone constraint, and that bone constraint was inverse kinematics. The setting? I just put the chain length in this case. Go back three bones. One, two, three, and it's done. Go do that for your other arm, do it for the legs, and it all sort of works. Not bad. Thanks for watching.